VOY TV has teamed up with the Miley Legal Group to honor health care heroes in North Central West Virginia. Each Thursday, we will bring you the story of one health care hero in our area. This week, I talked to hospice nurse June Jett, whose work has come full circle. I have seen life begin, and I have seen life end. The hands of this health care hero held crying babies. And I started in labor and delivery. But now, June Jett's hands hold the hands of those in their final chapter. We try to make the burden of passing a little easier. Appropriately, June, who helped bring life into this world for about 30 years, took a brief detour into recruiting to help the next generation. Try to help the students get their career started in nursing. And like life, so went June's career into the next phase. So I went into hospice. That's where you'll find her today, quietly providing care and connection in an often overlooked corner of health care. You are taught how to uh, make people better. And hospice is not about making them better. It's about making them comfortable. It's a job filled with days of grief, made even harder now by a viral predator. You can't hug the patient's family. You can't hug the patient. You know, I wear goggles and a mask in their homes, and uh, I, I want them to know that I'm smiling at them. For June, it's been 38 years at UHC, 38 years of helping people into the world, helping people live their lives and then helping them let go. So is it any wonder then her connection with life? I walked into a patient's home and um, his spouse said, you look so familiar. The next visit I went to and um, she said, you see my granddaughter on the wall? Sometimes comes full circle. And she said, here's a picture of you bathing her when she was born.